Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, the commander of commanders, and today I bring you back to Bad North as we fight off all the Vikings. So, who do we have to fight off today? We have some regulars and some big guys, I believe those are. So needless to say, I believe that our, uh, that Angus, Fergus, Eric, and Brenton shall be the best available to us. Assuming I can indeed remember the controls. Well, I was right about it only being the regular guys. I understand what the tip said now about be careful about where you fight the big guys. You know what? You can now replenish inside of there, uh, Eric. That was quite a volley. I understand why that's a thing now. Go, Brayton. Shoot them down. And now run. Good shot, everyone! Final wave incoming! They will not be able to fight us! That's still on cooldown, is it? Fully down the place! Excellent! Well done, soldiers! You have defended this town and earned us many, many gold! Congratulations! That is a lot of commanders available right there. We're including with an unknown enemy. That is never good to see. Alright then, let us see what we can do then. We currently have veteran pikemen. You know what, I've been told that this pike to get the abilities. Huh? So maybe getting plunge on Eric might be useful. Or maybe this pike charge. Honestly, the pike charge may be the most useful. It really depends on the, on the what the new place looks like. Tell me, what does the new place look like? Hmm. I am going to go with the charge. I am starting to feel I am not progressing quick enough. Meaning I need this th third commander quickly. No, I cannot take on a place with only two soldiers. Not at this point. So let's see where the enemy are. Shield bearers, come from there. Eric and Virgus, strike and wait and ready. I love how it's easy to tell who the commander of each squadron is. I don't like how many big guys there are. Although it looks like I am definitely right in my methodology for fighting with pikemen. In other words, don't have them on the shoreline, have them a bit away from the shoreline so that they can actually make use of the fact they're long range. Well, excellent. We have completed the crow's nest and now we next turn we will move on to uh, Tunku, wherever the hell that is, which has regulars, sp regulars, knights, and big guys. Okay. I feel I should save my coinage for next round. In other words, before, so that we're ready to take on this land. They can only strike from along the shore. So if we put have our archers on top, things are made easier. No, Fergus, not this time. This time we want a Breton. I've come to really enjoy this, pi this pikeman and their versatility. Now, from where do they approach? Over here! 
Eric on the is on the the whatever bank that is, ready to defend. That there is a lot of different Come! Shoot them! Strike them down! You are terrible shots! The pikemen are ready. With the rest of the guard behind them. That was a really nice charge. Hmm. We are now in bad... Oh, never mind. That was not bad situation. They were idiots. Oh god, big guys over there. Hmm. They are without support. Oh god, yes, pikemen are the counter to the big guys. Brayton didn't even uh, break a sweat. Well done, Brayton. Erwin. Nice to meet you, Erwin. Tell me, Erwin. What is your special trait, Erwin? Reduce the damage. I wish I could turn you into an inventory, infantry then, because that sounds perfect. There is no reasonable method to get me getting that item, unfortunately. Tis a shame. But we have many commanders along the way. So, we can go to Pepperholm with our newly acquired team. What the Christ is this? This looks like the most well-defended place I've ever seen. In this case... I... I honestly don't think I need more than... Well, this! Breton and Angus! Well, it really does depend on where they strike from. Which is why I'm going to grab Fegus, too. I don't think I need more than three! They can come from there, go up this land, though. Which is precisely why we have our pikemen. Come! Try and fight us! Holy hell, they're coming up a different way! This is less defended than I ever thought it was. Hmm. That is a lot of big guys. I do have to wonder where they're planning to strike from. And I hope they're planning to go up there. They are not. Move. Brayton, I know it's a tough it's a tough job for you. But you are actually the best at this. No, where's this final wave? I should have only used Brayton. Then again, Angus did uh, prepare against that one particular squad, didn't he? So, this map got me because of the fact it was a lot less defended than I ever thought it to be. Well, that was easy. All hail Spikeman! Now that I've figured out how to use them. Pipperholm has been discovered. And now we go to Elohen which has big guys and unknown guys, which is never a good element to have. And I don't think you guys have shields. So, I really, really want to make you pikemen. But your trait makes you so much better for s to be infantry. But then again, if people are hitting pikemen, it's harder for them to hit and you'd be able to withstand better. So screw it, we're turning you into pikemen. <laughs> And we're also making you veteran pikemen. Because, Erwin, I see you being so much better than Brayton. Now the question is, do I really want to try and try and fight these guys with only three squads? The answer is no, because this place comes with a squad making things easier. It comes with a squad of archers. 
making things a little more difficult. I literally could just ignore all the homes, stick my arches up here, and put a the pit Irwin, Irwin there. Well, Rickard and Owen, let's see what you can do. Reverse is new things, and we don't like new things. New things are scary. Warhorn, now! Okay, now! You need to go and replenish yourselves. Come! Come, big things! Fight Erwin! Oh my god, he's amazing! Why did you also start as archers, if you don't mind me asking? That is quite unusual. Final wave are incoming. They just look like veterans of some sort. But they also don't have shields. Oh, they fucking jump! So, we've got things that jump at us now, do we? Well then. Hmm. I will name them Berserkers. Sharp weapons. Please tell me that means you do more damage. Deals increase damage. Excellent! You will make the best archers. So then. We must go to the Big Isle. Who do we use in the Big Isle? We have many commanders under my power now. Interesting. This place looks quite walled off. And we're against the jumpers. Meaning, to me that means... Well, assuming they can't j literally jump over buildings. Which they might. I should use Erwin and Fergus. Yeah, Erwin, because they got jumpers. Then again, the jumpers also can't jump. You know what? I'll use Brayton. Just because then we have some more elites. Excellent. Brayton down there. Fergus there. Archers get into various different positions. As we look out for where they come from. Over there! What were they? They're jumpers. Which says to me... I should put vehicles in front of them. They are weak... To a degree against what am I call it archery because they don't have a shield a big guy comes oh there we go oh no more big guys uh, archers shoot them while Brayton readies to... Oh god, Brayton does not have much health left in him. Hmm. So, how does this work? I choose a, squ a square next to me? No problem. Wait for it! Wait for it now! Ah! So would you believe it, the game crashed, meaning Brayton is saved from the, uh, the evil that of the big guys. But needless to say, we have learned from our error from before, and this time we will be using Erwin, along with Aegos. In fact, wasn't I using Aegos? I'm using Aegos again this time.
because uh. at, at least Agus can give us a volley. So, Owen, down there. Fergus, down there. Owen. No. Argus, there. And Owen, you move very fast, making you very easy to run away. Meaning, get on that beach and bloody shoot them. Because the moment they're about to touch down, you can just run the hell away. Like now. Good job, soldiers. Ah, but now we deal with big guys. And big guys are not nice guys. Owen are the aggressive archers. Vegas' men are cocky bastards that should not be trying to do what they were just doing. Probably how I should be treating Owen, quite frankly. Argus, fully down there! Excellent! Oh, but Owen definitely nearly died there. If anyone we don't want to die, it's Owen. Because Owen holds the re the I holds the iron armor trait. Which seems to be a very good trait. So now we've got Eric, Brayton, and R Rickard ready to fight in call. Alongside Arthur! The warrior. Excellent. Hello, Arthur. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hmm. There is not many places which need defending at this point in location, are there? Oh, but Arthur is already veteran status. He has fought these Vikings long time without us. Those look like archers. They are. Bloody hell. There are a lot of archers coming to fight us. No wonder Arthur is a is a knight, infantry knight, if he has to fight with archers like this on regular basis. I think Arthur needs to run. No, Arthur was fine. Although Arthur probably needs to replenish a little. Arthur is ready to fight back more Vikings. Eric, call the war horn! So many archers striking this land. Oh god, and then big guys are coming. Fire! Whatever the hell your name was. Fire! Oh god, I oh, Arthur almost got slain. He was all by himself then. I'm guessing he's never fought a giant before. Arthur, sure-footed. The hell does that mean? Hello, Arthur. What is your trait? Knockback resistance. Ooh, that's actually kind of... That's actually good for killing... Big guys. Huh. Now let's us have a look at Moth... Fear Island. And see as to what kind of stuff it offers onto us. Moth Fear Island. As we now have eight commanders, we now have eight ways to fight. Up there is secure location if needed. But in addition... Only house in existence is there. So, um, hmm. I would use pikemen, but they are using jumpers. So, that's kind of not as good. 
honestly, I think Arthur would do well here. Because Arthur is, you know, knockback resist. Which would be useful. What other lands can I go to? No, this is best land. No, it's not best land. I can go to Grasame. I can go to Cornholm and then to Grasme. And earn whatever that item is there. That seems like plan. Now this place has limited attack locate places to be attacked. We need spearmen ready for big guys and... So Brayton, we need archers just ready. We need archers ready for f funny guys. And we need swordsmen also ready for other guys. And we'll take Arthur because knockback resist. Let's do this. Right then. Brayton, get on there. Best place to defend for you. Now let us see where these places strike from. Interesting start. They do not come up center. Beat them down. That's good. Good work, Brayton. Alright, I really... don't mind dealing with them. That did very little in the terms of damage, actually. Owen, shoot! Good work, you got one. Hmm, a lot of them come. An awful lot of them. Oh yes, Arthur is best job versus big guys. With only big guys left, Arthur need only get out of way and let that one guy just keep stabbing it. Ah, oh, you killed him! But he was so brave just going poke, 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 poke. Ooh. This is Big Island, containing shield bearers, regular guys, Giants and new guys. Well, damn, and this is fairly hard to defend too. Damn. Oh, um, hmm. This will be hard. I can already tell, but we do it nonetheless. Come, soldiers. I should have upgraded Vegas already. Why are you not veterans? Like, actually, why? Where do they come from? Ah! Elite shield bearers. Interesting. Alright, anything coming? Yes. Giant army of normies. Okay. Brayton, get ready. Start charging up in house. Well, Eric and Theogos get ready. You don't have volley ability, which is bad. I think I need knights to fight. To fight elite shield bearers, but it is hard to tell. Because I swear they throw- yes, they throw axes. Interesting. Vegas is running out of troops. Which, given current scenario, is very, very bad. Okay. Vegas was actually fine and I panicked for nothing. Right, now we have gold shield bearers, which throw axe at beginning of fight. Meaning they need to be countered by infantry, not spearmen. Good knowledge. So, what is this item? Allows a commander to be deployed twice per turn. Owen! I have item for you! Alright, now then, Fergus. 
become veterans already. It's about time. Now, we need to start buying people abilities. You, you have quicker ability cooldowns. So I should buy you plunge. And just see how it works. Edition Owen, you need to become veterans. Why have I not made you veteran yet? Well, now we move on. We move on to Mothfair Island. Where we have Arthur, Ungus, and Owen readying to rain down justice from above. Actually, frankly, I think I want Rickard instead of Owen. Because, to be fair, they're not going to move. They are staying, the archers stay up there because that's where they need to be. <laughs> Olgus is ready to prepare volley, which is not needed. Why did I bring anything other than archers? For that reason. This has been one of the easiest islands yet. Ah, uh, okay, noted. Volley is actually very quick to attack. Also, this island was worthless. Good use of turn. Hmm, Sheep Isle appears to be place of checkpoint variety. Excellent. Then we head on to Beery to get new leader. Hello, Beery. We are met with Shelby, a pikeman, which frankly is likely not needed. Fergus. 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 This place actually has some elevation. Let's use Fergus. And instead of Brayton, we'll use Erwin. Because Erwin better. Well, we have a very fortified position, at very least. Now, I want to use this purge ability just to see what it's like. They can't get to Shelby. How pathetic. Well, that was a good use of bomb. I think. Mostly because it was first time use of bomb. Fergus, start getting off moving over there. Excellent. Now more archers come. This is bad. Okay. You need to replenish. And you need to replenish. Good thing we only fight big guys, and big guys now are useless versus current situation. Now let us hope they can recharge troops fast. Only big guys come. Interesting. We be ready to purge them. To them. Moo act was very stupid. Going back now. No. Vigus, respect your bravery, but that was stupid. We must note: don't use act on special per on spe big guys. Does not work. Welcome, Shelby. You are ordinary and boring from looks of it. And that has new troop which we've never met, which we always hate. Right then. Next. Next we go to prayer. And figure out what here. Hello, Briha. Welcome to Briha, where land is wet and shore is wetter. What do we need? We need special people. We need elite people. We need best people. So Rickard, Angus, Owen and Eric are probably best choice. If necessary, we, we, we sacrifice house. 
if necessary. Hopefully not necessary. Might be necessary. Big guys come in. Spearmen ready. Spearmen backing off to be more ready. Archers readying with volleys. Poke them! Poke them good! Poke! 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 Excellent job, soldiers! Not single spearman lost. But might be on next run. Assault of them. Okay. Archers come in. We matter not our shield bearers are ready. Even if our archers can't hit a damn thing. Right, many archers come, we need war now. Poke big guys, Erwin! Well done. Eric need health. Oh god, bad, bad, very bad situation. Volley, 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 volley! What the bloody blazes is that? Javelin ban? What associated bullcrap be this? Right, Ricard, start getting in house. Angus, all up to you. Shoot to kill. Well done, you killed big guy. Kill rest of archers now. In fact, let Eric do it. Christ! We now have to deal with giants shooting javelins? Acquired the Holy Grail. Well, that was an easy thing to acquire, I suppose. I thought we'd need to go on this big, epic, long quest for it. But I guess not! So what does Holy Grey do? Consumable. Bring this... Use this item to bring back one fallen commander back to life. Well, I guess that makes sense. Uh. Owen, become a bloody veteran! Ricard, earn your jo volley! You need your volley. Bad person to upgrade it on, because we can't use you yet, but... Still. Okay. We are versus... Archers and leapers, meaning Erwin is actually useless. But we have to use Erwin because others are useless. And we only have Owen for archery. Great. All right, guys. Let's keep eye out for, for Viking scum. Oh, good, Viking. Archer's dead. I feel I am definitely right about thoughts about them being berserkers, considering they have twin swords. I didn't notice they had twin swords before. Oh good, they all dead. Move, soldiers, move! Archers, archer! Oh god, they attack from du dual sides. Vegas, get ready, down and ready. Owen, move. Okay, Vegas. Apologies for the hectic start after you just, you know, got out of place myself. Owen, you are uh, you are veterans. Why no act like it? Okay, guys. 
This land not so bad. Viking raids pretty small. Pretty small, pretty easy. Place not have much riches, but when again we've had place with less riches be it at the worst. So who knows? Fairness last place had holy grail, so the attacks were justified. Oh, but this time we fight play the next place we fight. Okay. Last place to attack. Sheep Isle. We have everyone available to us. We must think who we need to lose. What abilities we might need. Eric? That might be useful, actually. Brayton, we're not using you. Algus. More arrows fired. Could be useful. Could be useful. Erwin. The charge. Also ah. could be useful. Huh? Hey. Arthur. I don't think so. Ah. We need either charge or more arrows. I am thinking charge. Yes, charge. I'm, but I need to be ready to use it. We need Eric, Owen, Angus, and Arthur. Why them? Because. Arthur's got knockback resist and they got berserkers coming. So, we must be ready, we must be prepared. Here come massive men. Good way to start. Next massive man incoming. Archers on, uh, on horizon. Don't worry, we got two squads of veteran infantry ready to murder them. Excellent. No casualties so far. Numbers important. Numbers win wars. I think Eric lost soldier. Yes, Eric has lost one soldier. We've had one casualty. Oh god, there comes guy with big bow. Oh god, here come. No shoot archers in back. Tricks. Strike the archer. Excellent. Doing well. Oh! Alright. Ha! Right now! Volley there! And get inside there! Eric must rest! Erwin, go! Excellent! Get in house and replenish! Okay, oh for fuck's sake! Eric, move! Owen, recharge! Algos, ready yourself. Big giant guys require line of sight to strike. Okay. Good. We saved the land. No idea how! 
That was evil and hectic. No matter, we got checkpoint now. How much do I need to spit when I speak? Flatsy. Well, that certainly looks flat. I have to agree with that. Well, everyone, it looks like this is good time to stop for today's episode. So what can Parafox say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.